What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be ranking all of the speedsters on the flash by speed. Now I actually haven't made this video in over a year which kind of surprised me but then I realized you know they really haven't introduced any new speedsters. Um, but then we got the flash season 8 so I'm going to be adding two speedsters to my list so there will be a total of 21 speedsters on this list. Um, we're going to be adding the good reverse flash or the good Eobard Thawne and we're going to be adding fast track so yeah there you go. Also, make sure you guys comment below if you think I forgot any speedsters to put on this list. Uh, but nonetheless, starting off at number 21 is going to be the Accelerated Man. Now, we really don't know how fast he is. We just really haven't seen him appear whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, that's why he's got to be uh, at the bottom of the list at number 21. At number 20 is Frost as a speedster. If you guys remember in Season 7, Episode 2, I believe, Frost became a speedster when she injected Velocity X into her system to stop Barry. Um, and that was a pretty cool scene, I have to admit. Um, but, you know, she really didn't have her speed for that long it was only like five minutes um so we really didn't get to see her full range of abilities which is also why she's this low on the list now at number 19 is trajectory and there's no not necessarily a reason why she's so low i just think that all the other speedsters above her are faster than her that's simply the only reason that she's this low on the list she was a velocity 9 speedster and yeah, she seemed really fast at the time, but you know, she was facing Season 2 Barry, who's nowhere near as fast as Season 8 Barry. But with any anyways, with that being said, number 18 now is Iris West Allen. Now, the reason she's above like a character like Trajectory is because of her appearance as a speedster in Season 7. You could see that, see that uh, she still had like skills of a speedster, um, and she seemed, you know, not too bad in terms of speed. Number 17 is Oliver Queen as the Flash. Now, the reason he's above all these other speedsters is because he had his speed a lot longer than them. Um, and he was, you know, he had Barry's speed. You have to remember that. He had Season 5 Barry's speed, who was pretty fast. Um, so, yeah, you have to assume that he was pretty fast. Although he didn't really know how to use his abilities, he was still very, very fast, in my opinion. At number 16 is the fake Jay Garrick, aka Hunter Zolomon. Now, obviously, he was pretending to be a hero the whole time, but it he, he still showed off some skills. It looked like that he he knew uh, how to be a hero speedster opposed to Zoom. Um, so I think, you know, he definitely deserves to be higher than the speedsters that I just mentioned. Um, at number 15 is the good Eobard Thawne. He didn't really use his speed very much, just like, you know, fake Jay Garrick, Oliver, Iris, Trajectory, Frost, and Accelerated Man, all the other speedsters on this list. Um, but just seeing Reverse Flash once again played by Matt Letcher was so cool, which for some reason makes me think he was faster than all those characters. I could have been wrong, uh, but I think, you know, obviously he was also using Mina's speed, who was training, um, and she was getting faster too, so I think that could propel that good version of Eobard Thawne above these other characters. Um, at number 14 is The Rival. He was, I guess, the first true speedster on this list, so out of the true speedsters, I guess you could say he's the slowest. But yeah, he was defeated by Barry twice, and I just think that the rival just doesn't deserve to be as high as, you know, other speedsters on this list. Um, but now, now at number 13 is the Earth-90 Flash. Like he said, he literally said this himself, he's been running for 30 years. He's got to be, you know, pretty fast. Um, but at the same time, like, we really haven't seen him use his speed that much. I mean, there, you know, there was the TV show back then, but that, you know... We can't really we can't really compare speedsters on a, t a show from the 2000s like tens to a show from the 90s. That doesn't really work. Um, so we just have to kind of go off of what uh, what he's said and what he's done on the like the show. Um, so I guess him just saying that he's running for 30 years is good enough for him to be in the top 13. Um, but yeah, num at number 12 is Fast Track. Now she I, I don't know if they're I don't know if she's necessarily faster as the Negative Flash or if she's you know like the same speed as she normally is. Nonetheless, I think she was a lot faster than people give her credit for, um, which is why I have her above characters like Earth-90, Flash, and The Rival. At number 11 is Impulse. Now, Impulse, I think, is pretty fast. However, I don't think he has much as much experience as characters like XS or, like, the real Jay Garrick um, because, you know, he's he's young. He's still learning. He's still getting used to his speed, um, and I think they definitely show that on the show. Speaking of XS, she is now number 10, um, and, yeah, she's a top 10 fastest speedster, in my opinion, um, and, yeah, she's just, you know, she's older. She's learned more from Barry and Jay, um, so I think she, she deserves to be above Impulse. Um, um, at number nine is Jay Garrick. He has he's probably the smartest speedster on this list. He probably knows the most about the speed force. Not necessarily the fastest, but of course, you know, 
mind over power, I guess you could say. Um, so Jay Garrick deserves to be in the top 10 here as well. Um, at number 8 is Jesse Quick. Now, Jesse Quick isn't exactly, like, smart with her powers, ex like, per se, um, but she's definitely, like, I think she has m very underrated speed. If she were to return in, like, Season 8 or 9, I think we would see how fast she really is, and I think she would be a lot faster than people think. Um, at number 7 is Kid Flash. We, we need Kid Flash to return. Kid Flash absolutely has to return turn because you know after seeing him in season six with all the new skills he's learned in terms of you know how to use his speed i think he would be so fast if he returned in season nine um and number six is zoom a lot of people might be surprised by that but uh, when you see who's above him you'll understand zoom i think is you know he's he's not exactly like he he's probably the most powerful speedster just because he's so menacing and he's able to control pretty much anything he wants um, but at the same time, he's not exactly the fastest speedster, I think. So now at number five is Savitar. Now, Savitar is obviously Barry from the future, which makes him, you know, fast, very, very fast, um, as obviously Barry is the Flash. Um, so, yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. Savitar, he just, I just think that there's more speedsters now that are faster than him because I guess a couple more speedsters have bested Barry in, like, recent seasons. I think if Savitar returned now, he would get destroyed by Barry because Barry's just so much faster and so much more, like, in tune with the speed force, um, which is why I had to move him down to number five. And number four is Godspeed. We saw in the, the season 7 finale of how fast Godspeed really is being able to take on the reverse flash and the flash at the same time. And when he was just taking on the flash, he was much faster than him. So that, I think, gives Godspeed the right to be in the top 5. And number 3 is Black Flash. Obviously, when Zoom turned into Black Flash, we all assume he got faster. He literally caught the reverse flash on Legends of Tomorrow. He uh, He's, you know, caught Barry many times and almost killed him. Uh, but like I said, that was in like season 2 and 3. Um, so yeah, that would probably change now. And number two is the reverse flash. I think he did get a lot faster in season eight, although we can't really judge that based off of like the, the black suit reverse flash because they were using other powers, but it looked like him and Barry were pretty much neck and neck in that those like little speedster like uh, parts that they had, um, where it was just like speedster fights and not using the other powers of the forces. Um, and that of course goes into number one, which is undoubtedly the, the, the flash, I almost said the reverse flash, but the flash is number one. Um, he is, he's, he's gotta be the fastest speedster on the show. He's defeated all the villains on this list. Um, so yeah, I think that definitely gives him the right to be number one. But anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below, as well as your own list of your speedsters ranked by speed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.